so we're at the post office here in um, Troutville. Um, they have a really cool uh, mural on the wall here. You can hardly see it, but got a hiker and the AT and a tree and someone waving at them. It's pretty cool. But uh, anyway, um, stayed in a hotel um, last night in Troutville. There's hardly anything else you know, or any other place to stay at, but uh, um, Talisman is is here, and uh, he came up to hike with us. So, so thankful that he can make it up here. Um, he has been awesome. Um, so I'm glad to have my oh, my buddy back. Um, we hiked in Maine. Uh, he's great, great, awesome guy. Thank you so much for doing all of this this craziness driving around waiting for us doing all this other slack packing stuff I mean it's is great um, but we're gonna hit the post office here and grab up our packages and mail some stuff back and then um, slack pack six miles back to Troutville Daleville area and then um, continue on down the trail uh, his talisman's gonna hike with us for a couple days so I'm excited about that as well, but uh, we got the town of Troutville. It goes on down that way. Got a lot of construction. The town further on down the road there um, is quite large. Uh, they got about everything you want and need in it. So anyway, I will see you on down the down the trail later on today. So Talisman just dropped us off at. The Forest Service Road, and uh, we have a mile up to the AT, which is an extremely easy um, hike up this road. It's very, uh, I'd call this flat with a sh short little incline. Um, anyway, he is the man. Um, he's doing a lot for us. Um, well, that's awesome. He surprised us, and, uh, he's, he's been helping us up, out a lot while being in town. We'd probably still be in town, to be honest. Um, but we're slack packing this six miles back to Daleville, and, uh, we're gonna meet up with him there. And we have uh, 24 miles from when we start our hike up that way. We have 24 miles to McAfee's Knob, or the shelter right before McAfee's Knob. Um, so I want to get there at least in two days, you know, so that uh, you can see a sunrise out of there. Anyway, um, can't wait, and I can't get enough of the weather right now. It's it's perfect, and it's gonna turn real ugly soon. So uh, you yippee! Anyway, I'll see you down the trail, and uh, again, talisman, thank you so much. You're awesome. I'll see you. So the Fullard shelter is there. Uh, their water system comes from rain through a gutter system that leads down there. But there's the privy remnants of an old fire tower, plenty of tenting spots. Um, picnic table, fire pit, nice views. I'm spinning around way too much and it's point one off trail and we're really cold and uh, we're trying to get down this mountain um, we did it's 133 we started on the AT we started on the AT at like 120 or I mean at 120 uh, 1220 and we did um, yeah, three miles up here to the shelter. Um, 
in just under an hour. Um, we sat there for about 12 minutes or so and took a break. But uh, going down the trail here now, um, it cuts down right there so the AT is there and the trail for the shelter is there, which the shelter is back that way. Anyway, I got three and a half miles to Troutville where we will pick up our packs and meet up with Talisman and we will continue our journey. We got two very iconic uh, things coming up on our trail, um, uh, on our journey here through Virginia. Um, Tinker Cliffs and McAfee's Knob. Gonna get them done here in a day or two. And hoping that we'll have LK views considering that it will rain for the day and tomorrow. Anyway, I'll let you all stay on the trail that way. And uh, have a good day. So we're coming to the end of our slack pack. Uh, but got some private property over here. So for, I think it said point six. Um, have to stay on trail, no getting off, of course. But um, almost down to the road, we cross over two highways, and then we'll pick up our bags. Um, it's been pretty great. Um, back on the edge of a edge of a hill slash mountain. And we just kind of walked around on the trail. Um, a deer was in the middle of the middle of the trail and we didn't see it and he moved and uh, Rapunzel jumped made me jump. I look up and there's a a little um a little buck little tiny one he had some some short little horns um or antlers i should say uh, real real tiny um, but uh hunting season is out there we've heard a couple gunshots um already so wear your orange anyway Uh, almost got our bags just about another mile and uh, I will see you down the trail later on today so the AT crosses in the middle of a pasture and when you get to the top of it this is what you see <laughs> this is pretty awesome um, Anyway, uh, I cannot see the cattle that has been laying the landmines everywhere. But that is it. We came down a really steep, or came up a really steep hill here. We go that way. Double blaze. All right, y'all. I will see you down at Route 11. So we got our packs back and uh, well, we were trying to figure out a plan on where to go and what to do. And uh, well, let's just say the biggest limiting factor here is water. And um, we have a stream in point eight, and we also have a, a river, but the river is um, not recommend not recommended for consumption. So I'm relying on a stream that I have no idea if it's flowing yet or not, 
are still and uh, nowhere to camp for nine miles and it is four o'clock so we're just gonna hike until we figure out what we want to do and if there's a tent spot anywhere close and uh, call it a day this will be interesting anyway I will see y'all down the road trail whatever you want to call it and uh, update you on what we do all right y'all